Hi everyone, let's talk about setting up blueprints. What is a blueprint? A blueprint is a schema definition for any type or kind of asset in your software catalog. For example, you can have a blueprint for microservices, packages, package versions, CI jobs, Kubernetes clusters, and more. Any asset that you want to define and configure in your software catalog can be represented using a blueprint. Each blueprint has a set of properties. These properties define the blueprint structure, but that set of properties is completely customizable. When you define a blueprint, you are not limited by the number of properties or the types that you assign to them, and you can tailor the blueprint exactly to your needs and the structure that you require. In here, we can see a blueprint example for the service blueprint, and we can see the different set of properties defined in the example. For example, the current on-call, the number of code owners, a URL for the Slack notifications, the README markdown file, so on and so forth. And again, it is important to note that this set of properties is tailored to this specific example, but you can choose which properties you want on each of your blueprints and you can completely tailor it to your needs and what fits your use case. Now, since a blueprint is a core component in port and in your software catalog, each blueprint receives a page in your software catalog. So for example, if we create a service blueprint, it's going to receive a services page and every service in our software catalog will appear in that page. Now each blueprint can have one or more data source. The data source is where we ingest data from uh, into the software catalog and actually document the different entities that make up our blueprint. So for example, we can use GitHub to ingest all of the different services that we have, and we can use our direct Kubernetes explorer to document all of the running services and also our Kubernetes cluster. Now, each blueprint follows the same structure. First of all, we have the identifier, which is a unique ID used for programmatic access, API purposes, and to uniquely identify each of our blueprints. Then we have the actual schema, which defines the set of properties that every blueprint has. And in this schema, we have each property defined on its own with its specific type, title, icon, so on and so forth, giving you a completely customizable object which you, which you can use to define how assets look in your software catalog with very high granularity and in a way that specifically fits your needs. Now that we have some blueprints in place, we can either start creating relations between them or we can start ingesting data into some of the blueprints that we created.